to you by Probaz Electric, makers of the Probaz Electric Totemizer. Probaz Electric, we bring passing light. 34th of February, 1067 CUE, Eastland. Talk to the Liberator, Empire free from tyranny of magic. Gone are the days of turning castles into huts and eggs into ripe guano. Gone are the grooves and granola, the flatness and the foolishness. Today the magic wars are over. Shun magic and shun the appearance of magic. Shun everything and then shun shunning. So said the Grand Inquisitor from atop the head mesa, where the grateful masses throng to welcome Inquisition troops to newly occupied Fort Pozo. The third dungeon master has accepted the Inquisitor's generous offer of a permanent vacation. Today, the Dungeon Master read a brief but impassioned statement in support of the Transitional Inquisition government. Rumors that the Dungeon Master is leading a so-called magic resistance are entirely false. In other news, the standoff of the Enchanters Guild ended peacefully last week when the Enchanters were freed from themselves by carrying Inquisition troops. Concerned citizens everywhere search high and low for hidden scrolls and magic contraband voluntarily purging themselves of the worst excesses of the magic revolution. And finally, at tomorrow's ceremony, the Grand Inquisitor is expected to announce a radical new mind-numbing technology that will implement his visionary One Point of Light program. Never forget who is the boss of you. Me! I am the boss of you! 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 Curfew will begin in one second. Hey, I'm so lit. Are you still there? Ça va et toi, Sarah? So it's not sleeping yet. Oh, 
trop vite. All citizens are reminded to be quiet to attend tomorrow's ceremony at the C'est pas un... un truc de souris là. Pas d'avion. Je pense que c'est ça. No autographs. I don't do that anymore. Now beat it. Scram. Okay. Oh, implementers. It's one of those adventurers again. Go away. We don't need any. Absolute. Oh, a poor soul trying to find some meager refuge from the Inquisition. Go away. Oh. 
plastic stuck around neck. I sense a long but touching death scene. Thank you, Rick, for that passing, scissorfish. That mad fish strangler can have the dock. I'm out of here. Wee! It's past curfew, and I can't afford any trouble. I can't afford Jack. And I am Jack. <laughs> OK. Holy hungus. A genuine lantern. Looks like that one I had with me when I killed that troll with my rusty knife in Great Underground Adventure 4. These things are hard to come by. Nowadays, all you get are flashlights, courtesy Frobaz Electric. Whoa! Get in here! Ah, go ahead. I said a whole crate off the Inquisition. Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who I said a whole crate off the. And I paid him. Now, where's my wrench? Ah. Yeah, looks like this lamp has seen some action. Got a lot of carbon scoring here. Let's see if we can't just take a little. <laughs> Making a spark like that. <laughs> you smell spence weed? Where am I? Nobody saw you come in with that lantern. <laughs> now, don't look at me like that. I'm not a real adventurer. Just played one on TV. Couldn't find my way out of a maze if you paid me. Well, and maybe if you paid me a lot. Yeah. No, this thing is magic. Been a while, but I know it when I see it. Trust me, you don't want this lamp. Now scram! <laughs> Forget it. I'm not giving you that lamp. It's for your own good. And, uh, mine. All citizens are reminded to be quiet to attend to the ceremony at the oh my God.
supposed to smoke it. Uh -huh. Arrest the vandal. Oh, what a load of yipple dung. I've been set up. Go ahead and read him his rights. You have no rights. Hey, you're a theory of Jack. I'm a really big fan of yours. Remember that one time when you killed that thief who stole all your stuff? Sure, pal, whatever you say. That was first rate, bloody good. Can I smite him? Hey! Oh, I, I believe Smith is. Smithation would be appropriate at this juncture. Go right ahead. Oh, I get to smite hey, hey, Anterior hey, hey, Jack. All the guys at headquarters aren't going to believe this. Hey, thanks for fishing me out of that crate. Don't think I could have taken another spawning season. And thanks for getting rid of that Jack guy, too. We got lots to talk about, but the introductions are gonna have to wait. Get me out of this place before anyone finds me. The underground, much better. I'm Dalbaz, Dalbaz of Girth. They call me the Dungeon Master. Well, they used to, before I got stuck in this lantern. The job doesn't mean much nowadays, but I was a big deal about 100 years ago. Then magic is banished, and Yannick, the Grand Inquisitor, sprays me with Froba's electric wizard repellent. Suddenly, I'm torn from my body, floating helplessly, and I end up trapped in this piece of junk. Which brings me to you. What's your name? Okay. I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's ring her, shall we? Lost Enchantress of the Empire, I come to you from the ethereal plains of Atreus. Oh, um, I gotta get that, do you mind? All right, let me go right to the point. This call's not cheap. The good news is there are three magic relics. <clears throat> relics strong enough to bring magic back to the Empire. The bad news is they are lost or destroyed or something because, hello, no magic. Zip it! Take this spell book, adventurer. There is much magic hidden in the underground. If only you know how to look. What did I tell you? A spell book. Let me give you a quick rundown. There are three types of magic spells. High magic is creation. Middle magic is enlightenment. Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells as you go along, and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where. That appears to be your average everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. Door's locked, huh? 
I'm not much of a hand with locks, but if you open the spell book... Red Rock! Bingo! Open Sesame! A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. The crossroads of the great underground highway. My old stomping grounds. Oh, for the days when I could stomp. All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. Well, I'd say this applies. Go on. It's a map. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree, aptly named for its umbrella-shaped blossoms. Hey, there's a spell in one of the blossoms. Violence never solved anything. Well, it's not everything. Okay, not this thing. Red Rock. Boxum. Uh, the energies of magic don't need to be separated right now. I'm sure they appreciate the sentiment, though. Hmm. hmm. Another vestige of the Inquisition. That tacky little souvenir is called a totem. They hold the imprisoned spirits of magical creatures. It's cheaper and easier than torture, and it's certainly much more space efficient. What, what, what was that? Uh, I heard that. Uh, hello, uh, whoever you are. It's me, Dalbaz. I got chased out of my body by the Grand Inquisitor and ended up stuck in his lamp. This here's Afghan cop. So how'd they get to you? Well, I was just minding my own business, hanging out in the forest near Fuzel, and uh, next thing you know, I'm cornered by a fierce posse. I mean, more of a phalanx, you would really call it. I mean, of about a hundred Inquisition gods, you know? And I don't mean your average, regular, loose-sized gods. I mean, these were big guys. I mean, you're monsters. It took about, uh, well, 50 of them to hold me down, because mostly... Oh, what's this? You're a knobby little something or other, aren't you? A scrawny, scaly runt of a kitty fish. Ooh, there's... A... Speak to the great dragon of the, the Empire with such insolence. Uh, behold the flames of my wrath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 beg mercy, my lord. Oh, avert your eyes. My gaze is terrible. I am a dragon. <laughs> well, I'm sort of a dragon after a fashion, you know. If you dare look into my eyes, I'll turn you into a uh, jelly. Stone, you idiot, not jelly. Ah, stone, right. Get it, man, get it, man, shall we send back up? You're gonna give me any trouble, runt? Oh. No, sir, everything is under control here. Oh, dear. Tough break. So you're out of commission, huh? Well, I'm sure this kindly adventurer won't mind the extra load. Thanks. Alma Mater, the most prestigious spellcasting institution in all of Zork. And I was first in my class, too. If you want to get in, you're going to have to pass the entrance exam. The three pillars, they test your aptitude for visualization, pattern recognition, and clicking.
GUE Tech, Eastlands. Boy, this takes me back. The glory days of enchanting. I can't remember a damn thing. As you'll notice, the university doesn't exist in our space-time. It's in a parallel dimension called the Ethereal Plains of Atri, which we sorcerers share with snack cakes, former child stars, and people who own ferrets. Ah, the teleportation station. Fastest way to get around in the underground. Let's dematerialize, shall we? Snacks, sweet snacks. What a welcome sight to the road-weary adventurer. I think some of these were here my freshman year. This is an emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. I am the wizard, Belbuzz. This is probably not a test. Uh, sh should a tyrannical anti-magic despot have in fact eliminated magic from the Empire, you must find the following three lost magic artifacts. If you find them, magic will return. Is an emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. I am the wizard, Belbuzz. 
This is probably not a test. Should a tyrannical anti-magic despot have in fact eliminated magic from the Empire, you must find the following three lost magic artifacts. If you find them, magic will return. This is the main hallway one took to go to class. I've never been down it. This corridor goes on forever. It's almost as if it were infinite. A small way. You must find the missing cube of foundation, one of the 17 building blocks which form our existence. The cube that contains the power of middle magic was allegedly won in a game of double fanucci by the scoundrel Antharia Jack, proprietor of a gambling hall in Port Fuzel. As the sources were intoxicated with the extreme, this information has never been verified. Red uh -uh. This is a magic university. These doors have all been Resrov proof. This place looks sort of familiar. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. Ah! Onward then, into the foliage. That's my house, and this is my garden. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. <laughs> That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? All right. It's a snapdragon. This thing needs to take a chill pill. Hey, baby. This is the Dungeon Master's home security system. You ain't getting in here. So don't even try. I have a great home security system, but he's got some bad habits. Harry, it's me. Come on, Harry, let me in. <sighs> ah. 
nothing like a good stogie. Oh, yeah? Well, you got any ID? Me? Do I look like I got any ID? You look like a lamp. Ah, well bees. They'd sooner saw their wings off than let anyone get at their honey. Very delicate olfactory senses. Though I doubt that's helpful to you in any way. Let's dematerialize, shall we? Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Bon, on va tout faire. Hein. Hey, thanks for fishing me out of that crate. Don't think I could have taken another spawning season. And thanks for getting rid of that Jack guy, too. We got lots to talk about, but the introductions are gonna have to wait. Get me out of this place before anyone finds me. The underground, much better. I'm Dalbaz, Dalbaz of Girth. They call me the Dungeon Master. Well, they used to, before I got stuck in this lantern. The job doesn't mean much nowadays, but I was a big deal about a hundred years ago. Then magic is banished, and Yannick, the Grand Inquisitor, sprays me with Froba's electric wizard repellent. Suddenly, I'm torn from my body, floating helplessly, and I end up trapped in this piece of junk. Which brings me to you. What's your name? Okay. I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's ring her, shall we? Lost Enchantress of the Empire. I come to you from the ethereal plains of Atri. Oh, um, I gotta get that. Do you mind? All right. Let me go right to the point. This call's not cheap. The good news is there are three magic relics. <clears throat> relics strong enough to bring magic back to the Empire. The bad news is they are lost or destroyed or something because hello no magic zip it take this spell book adventurer there is much magic hidden in the underground if only you know how to look what did i tell you a spell book let me give you a quick rundown there are three types of magic spells high magic is creation middle magic is enlightenment Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells as you go along, and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where.
Red Rod. Bingo! Open Sesame. A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. That appears to be your average everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. The crossroads of the great underground highway. My old stomping ground. Oh, for the days when I could stomp. All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. Well, I'd say this applies. Go on. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree. Aptly named for its umbrella-shaped blossoms. Hey, there's a spell in one of the blossoms. Hmm, another vestige of the Inquisition. That tacky little souvenir is called a totem. They hold the imprisoned spirits of magical creatures. It's cheaper and easier than torture, and it's certainly much more space efficient. What, what, what was that? Uh, I heard that. Uh, hello, uh, whoever you are. It's me, Dalbaz. I got chased out of my body by the Grand Inquisitor and ended up stuck in his lamp. This here's Afghan cop. So how'd they get to you? Well, I was just minding my own business, hanging out in the forest near Fuzel, and uh, next thing you know, I'm cornered by a fierce posse. I mean, more of a phalanx, you would really call it. I mean, of about a hundred Inquisition guards, you know? And I don't mean your average regular loose size guards. I mean, these were big guys. These were monsters. It took about, uh, well, 50 of them to hold me down because mostly. Oh, what's this? You're a knobby little something or other, aren't you? A scrawny, scaly runt of a kitty fish. Ooh, there's a... Speak to the great dragon of the, the Empire with such insolence. Uh, behold the flames of my wrath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 beg mercy, my lord. Oh, avert your eyes. My gaze is terrible. I am a dragon. <laughs> well, I'm sort of a dragon after a fashion, you know. If you dare look into my eyes, I'll turn you into a uh, jelly. Stone, you idiot, not jelly. Ah, stone, right. Get it, man, get it, man, show me send back up. You're gonna give me any trouble, runt? Oh. No, sir, everything is under control here. Oh, dear. Tough break. So you're out of commission, huh? Well, I'm sure this kindly adventurer won't mind the extra load. Thanks. This place looks sort of familiar. The rank... Ah! Onward, then! Nothing like a good stogie. Ah, the teleportation station. Fastest way to get around in the underground. If you want to get in, you're going to have to pass the entrance exam. The three pillars. They test your aptitude for visualization, pattern recognition, and clicking.
GUE Tech, Eastlands. Boy, this takes me back. The glory days of enchanting. I can't remember a damn thing. As you'll notice, the university doesn't exist in our space-time. It's in a parallel dimension called the Ethereal Plains of Atri, which we sorcerers share with snack cakes, former child stars, and people who own ferrets. Hey, free dirt! And the hallway becomes a small way. Hmm, a token, a slot. But how to put it all together without my... I, I was just about to suggest that. The underground underground. It's a subway. It's a political movement. It's a subway and a political movement. Sounds like it's still operational, too. Okay, now you want to take the red line east to the yellow line, then switch off to the... Um, I have no idea. Kindle. That's more like it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, all you have to do is pick the place you want to go to, wait at the edge of the platform, and assume crash position. I guess I should warn you, the thing about the underground underground is um, that there were a few cutbacks and then a few more. And then, well, they just never got around to installing the brakes. really clears the sinuses. Hey, Slim. What you reading? How to hypnotize yourself. Guess it worked. Kindle. Can you hear it? 
thousands of voices lamenting some hideous fate. Or maybe it's just me. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a direct line to the commissioner. Thank you for calling the Hades Shuttle Service Courtesy Phone. Since the dawn of time, your Kingdom. choice for crossing over in... Press the star key for... What is all this? I just want to call the damn shuttle. Is that so much to ask? You have correctly answered all the questions. Congratulations! A shuttle will be along shortly to transport you to Hades, where you will languidly spend the rest of eternity. Have a hell of a day. Charon, the oarsman of the River Styx. Whoo-hoo! I don't know how he manages to generate a stink, but he most certainly does. Let's dematerialize, shall we? This place doesn't look safe. Well, that's just great. How are we going to get up there? Let's dematerialize, shall we? Totemization? Good. Now, if you just be a lamb and sign this confession, it's a formality, really. You willingly agree to be eternally bound and totemized and so forth, blah, blah, blah. You violated the laws and or pointed suggestions of the Inquisition, etc., etc., etc. No problem. Of course. Uh, oh, look, wait. There's a, there's a mistake here on line 17C. Be a lamb, just sign. Line. No, no, really, look, here, where it's supposed to say stand in line for three hours and then get totemized, it says, pop the inspector one. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'll sign for you. Pink cup is yours. Have a nice day. Ah, I'm remembering why I've always preferred teleporting. This is the stop for the famed Flood Control Dam Number 3. I believe it was quite the tourist attraction in times far distant. There 
it is, one of the crowning achievements of Lord Henry's plan. time here. Let's think. I guess a much-loved and irreplaceable 300-year-old national treasure is a small price to pay. Congratulations. Woohoo! Number 57. 57. Go on, then. In you go, 57. Wait, that's it? 
Indigo 57? And you, I mean, don't you, don't you uh, read something or, you know, say something? Yes, I say, in you go, 57, and you go in. Oh, well, can I at least have a hug? Fun, Beautiful. useless, but fun. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Mead light. What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. Watch out. Old Scratch plays for high stakes. 500 Zorkmids against eternal damnation. What I'm trying to say is maybe you ought to save. Uh, okay. Save. Save. Death, death of fortune, old scratch will make one thing. When your way through the web I spun, fail thrice and thy soul be mine. Okay. Uh, where is the start? Here? Puzzles and puzzles. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh.
Try it this way again. And there. And oh no, that's not good. And there. And there. And this one. Too. Thank 
Oh. Tried that already, no? Oh my god! Shoot! Oh 
Cha-ching! 500 Zork Mids. Okay. Five hundred Zork mids. Let's just stuff those in a handy little sack, shall we? <clears throat> so. Mead light. What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. Sweet snacks. What a welcome sight Shh. to the road weary adventurer. Stop talking. Thanks. Look, an ice cream bar. Hey, look, there's a special treat inside. Well, what do you know, another scroll. The Obadil Scroll. Will not Nusto for novelty purposes only. They're just saying that, though. Put it through a spell checker and it'll work like any other. I think some of these were here my freshman year. <laughs> no, the ice cream. Oh, no.
No! I hate it when that happens. That's Yannick's locker. That rat ant was my roommate here for three terms, before he became the pastor of disaster up in the above ground. He would have failed out first term if it weren't for me. Ooh. Oh, okay. All of them. Kindle. It's not to play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ouais, il arrive. <laughs> okay. Well, feel free to make some. Uh, I have to go. I have to eat lunch. So I say, see you later. Maybe you'll be streaming later. Thanks.
So see you later. Bye bye.